Hey, and welcome to a new show on my channel called Jig Spook House. Here we're going to be talking about our favorite movies, games, whatever that spook our bones. And by we, I mean me and my friend Donovan. That's right, Jig. We're going to be talking about a special category today on our first episode. Ooh. It might have been a category that I may have made up myself, but that doesn't matter because I can do whatever the hell I want. Anyway, today we're going to be talking about the movies. So The Thing is one of my favorite movies of all time. No other movie can make me feel such dread while also giving me a healthy dose of 80s cheese, which John Carpenter is the master of. Of course my friend Jig is talking about the 80s remake. An amazing remake it is. The special effects is just on par with the best they had back then. Not only are the special effects on par with what they had back then, they hold up today. They look better than most CGI things, at least in my opinion. Now let's talk differences between the 50s movie and the 80s one. The 50s one is about the Cold War, basically, and it's about people coming together in the face of an alien threat. Whereas the 80s one is more about how a threat like that can tear people apart. Alright, so The Shining is another one of my favorite horror movies. It's a great film, uh, it spoops my bones, and it's, it, you know, it gets the job done. It does more than get the job done, it goes above and beyond. Not everyone loves it. The opening shot alone with Jack's car driving through the Colorado mountains are beautiful yet ominous somehow, sort of like the hotel itself. That's right. And to add on, we have kids with creepy imaginary friends, The Shining, Snow, Snow, Hedge Mages, and, and a, a ghost furry blowjob, I guess? All the things everyone loves. So we can't really say much about this movie that hasn't already been said. So all I'm going to say is if you haven't watched it yet, please fix that. So the stuff is this movie we found while we were searching through the movies, and let me tell you, it's fucking great. It is great. I mean, I just said that, but it is great. Let me talk about opening shots real quick. Who needs subtle intros, subtle build-up, anything like that? This is how you do an opening shot. What the hell is this? So smooth. That tastes real good. <laughs> Tasty! So the stuff is this stuff that comes from the middle of the earth, apparently. It's white and it's, it's incredibly tasty. People love the stuff, and it turns out the stuff makes them into sort of a collective mind, hive mind, that wants to spread the stuff around, sort of like the Borg from Star Trek. Yes, the stuff is basically a bacterium with a hive mind intellect that can share and see through all eyes of its subjects. Keep that in mind next time you look at Marshmallow Club. Come on. I'll burn the hell out of it! <laughs> This movie is ridiculous. Let's get it over. It, it's ridiculous. You think it's ridiculous. Everybody knows it's ridiculous. Even the movie itself knows it's ridiculous. Everybody knows. But just the way this movie handles itself, it is fantastic. I mean, just it's just so good. Even the jingle made up by Richard C. Man. You couldn't find a better movie. A better B cult classic movie. And I really think that this movie just defines cult classic movies. So, 
Even though we haven't really talked about deeper meaning that much, I want to make an exception to briefly talk about the deeper meaning of the stuff. Um, on first watch, me and Donovan think that it's about huge corporations killing the economy, uh, killing smaller businesses, and getting people addicted to their products. When people become addicted to these huge corporate products, they, they don't know what life is like without it and they become hostile towards other things, like the stuff zombies. Get in the car! Who are you? So, Donovan, what's this uh, thing about the movies that you wanted to talk about for the end of this video? Well, I wanted to talk about the idiosyncrasies of the. Now, I'm not talking about the, the, I'm talking about the, the word. The thing, the stuff, whatever. The is more than just a definite article. Let's look a little deeper into the, the word. Uh... The, the word is the only definite article in the English language. It comes out of the old English word, S-E-C, which was actually a gendered word with a masculine, feminine, and D neutral version. Donovan, we don't and have time. time the French people do, still do that today. And you think the French are first. Anyway. The, eventually, the gender system fell apart. And Old English turned into Middle English. And but, but Donovan, that, it just went all we, nuts. I mean, the started to show we can't, up on every billboard, every damn movie. We, 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 this was the 30s. I mean, 13th century, 1330. It was ridiculous. We, you got we, the Latins, you got the everything, and then you got the damn. Don movie. Donovan, we 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 get we're running out of time, man. Oh, uh, I, I uh, thought you could do this. I... Donovan, it, like you, this is too much. Thank you for joining us for tonight's episode of Jig Spook House. I hope it was all interesting for you. Be sure to stay tuned for next week's episode, which is about a great game series, and if you know me, then you could probably guess what it is. Good night, and don't let the stuff bite, or rather, don't bite the stuff. <laughs>